Hello everybody, welcome on back to another episode of Shapes.io. As always, I am your pop punk bud, also known as Tyler. Tell me what you want, doesn't bother me. And let's go ahead and pick up where we left off on the last one. So now I will say, um, just right off the bat, if I have any tips for anyone that wants to get into content creation, especially on like YouTube, uh, maybe build up a backlog because I don't have a backlog and I am now recording this at about five in the morning because I was playing stuff with some streamer friends and I knew that if I didn't do it now I would not be I would not end up getting myself awake in time to be able to record and release the video on time so we're going for a late night episode. Gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. Maybe this will get the, the creative loopy energy out, but you know, only so much you can really expect and ask for. But hopefully everyone's doing well, taking care of themselves. Um, I clearly am taking care of myself, as you can tell by me, you know, being here to <laughs> to record videos at this time, but you know, we make content just kind of as it comes along and go from there. Um, just got actually finished playing Phasmophobia for a little bit. Um, slowly but surely, kind of making my my way into the game. I haven't played too too much yet, but it's a lot of fun. I. It fits me very well as someone who uh, doesn't really get scared a lot while playing games. So I like being able to play with my friends and have them just kind of be like... <laughs> just be like, hey, uh, Tyler, how are you not getting scared? I'm just like, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I just don't. Uh, which also means you can mess with your friends and stuff like that too, which I always like doing. I like. I like messing with my friends in, like, non-toxic ways. Um, at least if, you know, I can help it. Because you never know, like, especially when you're talking to people, you never know what's going to end up coming off as toxic. And, you know, sometimes you say the wrong thing. But for me, I always feel like it's within reason. Like, I try really hard to, you know, you know be a nice person and not say the wrong thing. But stuff happens every now and again, and... Being part of a person and just accepting that you're going to make mistakes, you just don't want them to be really bad ones. Um, and you should always at least be a certain level of self-aware. But, you know, that, that's just kind of come, something that comes with the territory. Uh, but it's nice when you have friends that like you can trust to actually like, call you out on stuff and you don't have to you know, worry about it as much. Ooh, we can copy and paste, which is actually perfect because if we want, all we gotta do is come over here, copy you, well, something like that, and then we can copy three of two, I think. There we go. Do a little something like that, and. Hopefully, we should fill up a little bit more. It's interesting how much this setup actually, like, just works. Um, we've got a good bit of saturation. Very little areas in which, you know, gaps are not being filled, which will mean that as long as this stays filled up, then we will end up having... So there's going to be a small gap, but... We're producing plenty of white circles for this shape uh, compared to what we're using. It's just we're running into issues with the base blue, but you know that'll get even better. And then we can copy and paste more and go from there. Um, so honestly, just kind of looking forward to seeing how things go from here. Uh, one nice thing is it's what we need purple squares and white circles so all we would need to really do is just kind of set up 
<laughs> we can now actually just copy and paste things and you know it'll work a little bit better for us um, now the real question is would we be able to split this and then just make purple squares and then combine those or should we create some new sets of stuff Because I guess the real question is, do I want to try and rush through the main tiers, or do I want to try and upgrade stuff? I want to... I think I want to try and just get through the main tiers for right now. Because once we do, we can start messing around with the wires update a bit more. Let's go ahead and... We'll copy those... And we're going to want to make some purple squares. So you know what? Let's build you. Oh yeah, actually, I don't need to do two sets. Well, I guess I need to do two sets if I need white dye as well. But um, we'll do... Just that. Go ahead and get ourselves some purple dye going on over here. And then we'll do a good old song and dance with connecting all of our shapes back up. But luckily, this is structured pretty well. Yeah, it was like one thing that's been interesting about uh, getting into some of the content creation stuff and, you know, kind of going more at this and meeting a lot of people in the industry um, is that my sleep schedule is very messed up. Now, there's also on top of like a bunch of other life changes, but my sleep schedule is very messed up right now. And we're just kind of vibing most of the time. Um, that's why I'm awake at 5 in the morning and instead of going to sleep like a normal person, I am making content. But luckily I only have an assignment due at 5 p.m. and not an actual class, so we're gonna be able to sleep for a bit and I was like my assignment shouldn't take too too long. So, we're, we're looking good on that end, at least. Uh, and then we're gonna go and pop down these in line with that. And then we're gonna bring that through. And the hope is, is that at least by doing this, like, just little by little, I'll get at least a little faster at placing these things down. Because my main goal right now, uh, like I said, is to work on the speedrun as a whole. And, you know, since obviously I play this game for kind of longer bits at a time, I hope to be able to just take any time that I am doing Stuff like this and uh, work towards that goal. Like I said, uh, I've done, I've still only done one sample time so far, but I was kind of happy with how it went. And like I said, I would like to do some more of it in the future. Uh, I've actually always. I wanted to get into speedrun, like speedrunning stuff for a little bit. One of my favorites 
uh, Somaliant, if you haven't heard of him, I would definitely recommend watching his content because it's just, it's very nice, it's very uh, just kind of like friendly and easy for anyone to just enjoy. He puts in so much work into everything, he edits all of his stuff himself. Uh, so, you know, I, I respect it a lot. I like the the work that he does. Uh, so I, I would definitely recommend if you haven't seen him, but he's an extremely, extremely good speedrunner. Um, I was like, he speedruns Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. I was like, he's pretty popular, so I ended up plugging him. That might not help too too much, but definitely if you're interested in like just easy listening content, like I would go ahead and you know listen to him. Uh, he always has fun with a lot of the speed runs. He streams constantly all day every day uh, during the week, pretty much. Uh, and you know it's his full time job, so he treats it as he treats it as such. Yeah, I respect the the work that he puts into it. Uh, but, so, you know, he's someone that's been, like, an inspiration on that end, because I just genuinely enjoy the content he makes, and, like I said, I've wanted to get into speedrunning for a little bit from different runners that I've watched, but from watching him, it was just, like, it felt a lot more doable. So, that's where we're at, and... Uh, like I said, I'm giving kind of my first attempt at things and just seeing how it goes. We want to pull in purple here to one side, and then we'll pull it everything. Um, and it's cool because he's got like different guides, and yeah, you know, he genuinely seems like a nice person. So. Like I said, would recommend if you haven't watched any of this content. Um, especially since I think he might now be using his VOD channel more. Uh, where he'll upload like some of the, the more like interesting runs that he's enjoyed. Let's go ahead and take you. Rotate. And hopefully this will just work. Oh, <laughs> nope. It, it'll work, it's just not like I was thinking. I need to actually connect things up properly. But we'll go down there. Go ahead and get ourselves some extractors going. Now that should all start running properly. And I think now all we gotta do is cook over. Yeah, over here. Yeah, having the copy and paste function is just so nice. Especially after like building everything by hand so much, uh from just like running the speedruns. Absolute godsend. Um, I remember the right stacks on top of the left, I think. So if we. Come over here. Left stacks on top of right. So we actually want this to be like that, I think. Yeah, because that's going to be our base. And then we can pull our white circles just up and around. And it's interesting because the. Uh, the current speedrun um, is for Blueprint Percent, which is unlocking 
this blueprint shape over here. But I would be interested to see a full, like, uh, to free play speedrun. Because I think having that more, having more of that time would open up a lot more of stuff to be uh, what's it called? optimized. I think there would be a lot of interesting things that people would have to come up with to get it to be, you know, even faster. Especially since you'll have a lot more that you can optimize in the way of just is what you'll be dealing with things like uh like especially like the upgrades seeing kind of how that would come into play and if you would want to take any time to get any extra shapes delivered so you could do that properly or so on and so forth And honestly, like visually, I I like how everything kind of lines up nicely. It's a nice like S shape. Oh, that's okay. We didn't need it anyways. You know, it's just got like a nice S here, and then everything kind of comes together. And it feels okay that even though you know I'm not using the mergers, everything can kind of just go that one direction. I feel like we probably want to create more die makers, especially since we're splitting off. So what happens if we just double it? Because if I'm correct, it's probably just going to be the thing where it's like, it's not going to fully saturate at the end. Especially if I'm not, uh... Setting that up properly. We'll go ahead and set you up there. Boom, boom. There we go. But I think once everything runs through, like, you'll notice that it's not even, it's probably not going to get to the end all the time. Unless it just happens to back up enough, but. Yeah, because that slows that down quite a bit, so it's probably worth making it a separate row of production. Yeah, or if we can just help it like not split up because it just it takes too long to split off before it's not really doing its thing all that much. I don't know. Let's get rid of that, and I will leave this here for right now. See, this is where you end up, you know. Instead of having them all focus on one output, um, you'd probably want to end up doing the work to have two separate outputs and then, like, what happens if we do that? Yeah, because it was like, that changes that quite a bit. It's nice they actually visually changed it on the UI. Um, because before, you used to just kind of have to follow along, but now it actually highlights um, what does what. I think that's a, a nice, just a nice visual choice. I think it's very smart of them. We can do something like that, and then... Okay, my real question. If I did that... Okay, that won't put out because it's not on it. Even though, technically, those would both be connected, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and come around 
here. And we want to copy and paste. But then what we do is bring this up and down. All we gotta do now is connect in our red and blue if I can get it. You should, yeah. Because we'll go like that, that. Pull the spaghetti strats. Just like any true lover of efficiency. God, this is awful. That's okay. Because, you know, they say I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. Now, my real question is, how am I going to belt this over? Because I think we need to do something like that. And then... Yeah. See, yeah, look, problem solved. And then we can stop splitting off here, get rid of you. And there we go. See, yeah, look, I, I'm very talented at this game, no problems whatsoever. This will make us produce a lot more of these shapes. And then we can go. At some point, I probably want to make this shape. Um, just so, you know, I can actually upgrade our mix of painting. And then I'll make everything else go faster. But it's going to require the fun, annoying. Cut the shape in half, recombine it, and then go from there. It's one. Of, it's weird to me that it's like the pinwheel shape is one of the only ones that doesn't actually spawn like by itself naturally, at least normally. I think I've seen it maybe in one game that I've played. Oh, we just need more producers on this one. Go ahead and put you over there. Connect you up. That's all good. That goes like that. And then Give ourselves a couple more circle producers, and hopefully it should keep this fully saturated, which should then in turn keep the belt delivering to our hub fully saturated, and we'll be doing some good things. Yeah, so like that's already a lot more, or a lot better. We can go ahead and copy you one over, and do the same thing again. And those are actually already in line, so hopefully I should fully saturate, and then maybe we will see this catch up. This might also probably need some more on here as well. That. There we go. That should be better. That's my favorite part is that literally like once you hit the stage of having blueprints you just copy and paste and you can extend things on as long as you built it right. And just honestly this game is very good. 100% if you've not played it I would recommend it. I've put like 50 plus hours and will be putting a lot more of time into it especially with the 
speedrunning challenge and then also the YouTube content. And I think right now it's still only $5 for the full game. I was like in the dev still adding in a bunch of stuff, still putting a bunch of work into it. I said we just got the, the major wires update, I think October 9th was when it released. And it was a little bit later than they were expecting, the, they being the developer, but you know, it, I think a lot of people have been happy with it so far and you know, as long as it's polished, I think that's a pretty important aspect because the last thing you want is for you know them to go through all that work for it to not even be what people were hoping for and so you know it was like i respect that they're taking the time and actually making things making sure things are well polished those are going to be done delivering soon I think one of the main things I need to end up doing for getting better their speed on is setting up better cutting routes. Um, anything just in general too for progress, because I know one of the big parts with, like especially this shape, is you've got to figure out what's best for you in order to get the corners and then still combine everything. Uh, I think normally what I do is I set up two different sets, one set of circles being dyed white, one set of circles being dyed red. You cut the corners however you need them, get them into the right orientation, you combine those, then you combine those for both sides together, and then you finally combine that base shape with your top green star. To see. I'm pretty sure that's one of the main shapes too, so I'm going to have to tackle that at some point as well. But we will see how it goes, as always. My entire uh, strategy with playing this game just kind of comes to, yeah, let's just see how it turns out, and we can worry about the rest later. Uh... We're going to go ahead and make sure that we deliver these to base. Because I realize that we are not currently. Go ahead and... We need one space gap. we we'll go ahead and bring that up and around and... To Go ahead and get ourselves some cyan stars still delivering. That way we can work on this goal. They are extractors a little bit faster. And hopefully we should still have enough that we're cutting plenty for what's being used over here. Because obviously this shape still matters to us as well, uh, even though we're at that goal already right now. And oh, I'm not actually delivering any normal stars to you. Okay, so let's change that right quick. Another interesting thing too uh, with speedrunning this is going to be based around It is going to be based around, uh, especially getting used to like keyboard shortcuts, because uh, it says you can configure settings and all that fun stuff. So I was like figuring out what my most important things are going to be, getting used to that, and seeing fully what I need to do for optimizations. Because my big, one of my biggest problems comes down to obviously just placing things quickly um, and you know for a speed run you want to place things as fast as possible so yeah we're kind of just figuring out one step at a time 
time. But if you would happen to be interested in seeing that, I think I might get a couple more opportunities to stream it. Um, if not, I will at least be uploading uh, the recorded runs just because I do need to have it recorded and, you know, like actually set up so I can paste it to, or so I can send it for verification on the actual speedrun website. But, you know, if you're interested in that, uh, follow me on Twitter. That way you can see when I actually am going to go live. And then obviously follow me on Twitch. So that way you can watch the content when it becomes available. Um, as always, any support is greatly appreciated. I am trying my best to go out to try and balance things together and, you know, work on providing quality content. So if you've enjoyed uh, the video so far, make sure to leave a like, subscribe on the channel, and comment if you have anything you wanted to share with me, anything you're interested in seeing, knowing, all that fun stuff. And yeah, like I said, I'm very grateful and any support is always going to be welcome. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.